Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. Just to sign, it's another, another um, a specific character, but um, I think we're gonna learn really cool techniques. I, I sometimes avoid, you know, requests, but this is a balloon design that I made, and the thing is, this is, um, you know, a, a beautiful cartoon. <laughs> Pinocchio and the good thing is the movie is coming soon well I don't know when exactly but it's a movie a new movie from 2022 so um, I'm gonna show you I made before that design it was just you know by looking those pictures that I found on Google and then I made that design just for um for fun for practicing well also I have an event and it was all about Pixar and Disney and this is I think a Pixar and a Disney Pixar movie so um Pinocchio so I made that so then after that I was thinking okay I have um this design but it took long because I was just you know making it as I was seeing the pictures and then to repeat it you know this that technique we already made it before for Frankenstein parties so we're gonna kind of repeat but also I was thinking one why not to make it a little bit different and it's still looking cute um, we're gonna use different techniques, so enjoy this video because it's going to be probably pretty long <laughs> because a specific character sticks forever, you know. Unless you know, we can divide this or separate this video in two parts, but sometimes I don't like that because then you have to go to the next video, so better make it all in one. And at the end, if you want to make this design, you have to watch the whole video, but if you're already seeing it. This is a design. You probably, you know, if you're an advanced balloon twister, you see this is like easy. I know what you know is this. I know what is this. This design you can say this design is a hundred percent latex, just a sharpie, you know. But it's a hundred percent balloons. We're not using any glue. So that's the cool part about this technique and about if you make it, you can also say that. Um, I like the idea to attach the long nose. This is the back. So it's a it's a very cute and the thing is there's something I will change. And it's the black part. Maybe why to complicate here? Sometimes I like you know chubby, it's cute, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it this time this way. You know, when I see it, it's like why not Cecilia? It's beautiful, do it that way. It's just we're gonna need probably more balloons than we expect. Um and I don't know, sometimes I'm trying to look for easy, fast designs. So that's kind of the, you know, and in, to make a tutorial. The other thing about this design, look, it's, you have to be very flexible. Look at the first design, look at this one, similar, not the same. And the thing is in that design, I have to confess, I use glue dots for the ears. But in this one, no, I like the idea to attach it. How? Racing beans. So in this balloon, this is a five inch round balloon, blush, Decomex brand, the face, uh, from the head. And I made like, I add four racing beans. So it have one connection for the nose, another one, two more for the ears, right? And then one more for the hair on top, for the hat. So four. And the, you may think it's silly. Wow, you went too much. It's too elaborated. But when you're practicing the racing beans technique, it's really cool. And you try with five inch rounds, and then you can try with any size of balloons, and that's gonna be super easy. You know, probably the most complicated will be five inch round. But always remember the sizes of these balloons. It's more practicable for me to show you. You know, but if you just instead of two sixty. You start with 350, everything is gonna make this design much bigger. So all the sizes you just upgrade, you know, you can size this up, it's gonna be bigger. The same with this, instead of five inch round, it can be like 11 inch round, so it's gonna be much bigger. Consider that, um, and remember, you know, just enjoy the techniques because at the end, any specific character, you're gonna do it. And the thing is, this is the, part, the moment of challenge. A specific characters, I think are meant to have fun and use the techniques you learn on YouTube, you know? And so that way you make it your own way. That's that's what is gonna make you feel better. 
And in my case, I don't like to repeat sometimes the same technique, you know. And sometimes people look at that picture and say, I want the same. And they want to buy, you know, for my balloon business, want to buy that design for a party party, you know. And it, ideas they have to surprise someone and I that means it's like well I made it I, I know I can make it again it's not just that the fun part you know I just like to make sometimes one character different ways just because that's who I am but I'm sure you can enjoy that part too you know because sometimes it's like to repeat that means you have to make sure you look there's gonna be a moment you know you don't gonna need to do that um so um that's gonna be a really cool moment. So right now, pay focus on the idea. Like even if you don't like Pinocchio, you think that's a cartoon, I don't wanna make it. But pay attention to the video because you can enjoy the techniques. Let's start with this design. We may change, I'm not sure, because instead the black, you know, is like part of the best. So what about this black just goes here instead of this yellow and so only the yellow in the middle. So that was my plan. So we're gonna have these two choices and then we're gonna compare. Let's see. I remember I start with the shoes. And with this technique, in order to make it fast, you can always inflate. Well, for this 260 brown, it's like a finger tap. And you can start making simple shoes. We're not going to complicate ourselves. It's like a three finger loop, lock, two finger bubble, pinch twist. From here, you wanna go fast, you can just go with a Two finger bubble, another two finger bubble, pinch twist, loop, three finger long, and you have shoes already connected. Why? Because this design, the cool part is look, it's not attached. So kids, you know, it can have different position if you want. But at the end, if you leave it there, the legs are kind of like already together. So what I did is just a shoe with a three finger loop and then in the back it's two pinch twist each side you have to make one shoe cut it use the rest of the 260 mocha brown for the other shoes now it may take a little bit longer if you want this effect but i want to show you all the simple or fastest way that is to make this three finger bubble loop pinch twist uh two finger bubble Two finger double pinch twist, loop, three finger loop, and then you have that. At the end, it's very similar, it's just you're not gonna be able to separate the legs much. And sometimes that's also a good choice. Cut, you're not gonna need this anymore, but maybe this can help you for salute scraps, like for to make the racing beads. Okay, so you just lock them, tie them, and make sure your hair is not trapped there like my hair okay you have this then we're gonna go with our 260 blush that is going to be this one balloon 260 blush we're gonna make the legs and the arms so let's see you're gonna inflate it eight or nine finger tail we're gonna attach one right here one on the sides measure three finger bubble you don't want this to be too big well or too that's up to you. You can make it with long legs. That's up to you. I, I like the idea, you know, like three or four finger long cut. But to make this cool technique, you're gonna cut it, leaving like, look here, four for a hand, and then you cut. So all that, you gonna make sure you have left here. Okay, so you're gonna tie it because we're going to still use it for the next leg and you got tie this so you have a little long tip there without inflating it's going to be probably two a little bit more than two finger now we're going to grab the next uh, our 260 blush again we pass it to the other side the other shoe we measure three finger and four the same size as this leg and then again we measure like a hand approximately then we cut. Now, keep, hold, keep uh, saving this uh, 260 because this is going to be for the arms. And now you tie. Now, these tips are the key. It's like kind of like very uh, the secret, the secret for this design. Now, let's go in for the next balloon because we're starting this time from the shoes, the body. At the end, we're going to make the head. Then, 
you're gonna make 260 red inflated eight or nine finger tail okay look at this you're gonna make a marriage twist okay and this marriage twist when you do it measure approximately like three finger long no more for the shorts one leg of the shorts so no pattern coding this is what i do and then i'm gonna push and even more always and when your fingers almost probably almost all the way in you're gonna grab all what you hold take it out and you're gonna kind of like from here give it a little bit more air or you kind of like help you know make sure or keep it you know the shape you want to play with that and you have here like approximately three finger long look how cool this technique is now you can twist in this piece and then also this long piece you're going to now twist it too that's going to secure everything there okay cool this now you always squeeze if you think you need more air now you're going to measure approximately the finger bubble and you're going to make a pinch twist okay the one thing's too tight but that's the idea then you're going to measure probably like three finger long and then you're going to make another two finger bubble pinch twist now we're gonna go all the way back and then we're gonna straight the air and put it back so let's see i'm gonna go back to the other to the pinch twist and make sure while you do that you secure it again with that with that um connection you know see all the chunky thing trying to go around and when you're back here in the center you're going to squish and pull so then you have to like a squish and align there with a the rest of 60 with no air or as less air as possible you twist and then you're going to measure four finger bubble and this is the cool part look what i have here you measure four finger bubble approximately the same size you know and then you're going to kind of cut your balloon but this is a very interesting technique so pay attention you're going to leave some tip okay look what i'm doing you're going to leave some tip as long as you want but i'm gonna just check and find out if i did it right this take it out put it in a moment somewhere close to you and now you're going to lose the air and you're gonna tie it close to the nasal here okay so you have all this you're gonna tie it close to the nasal or close to the beginning this the end i mean look look at this so you have this what are you gonna do now you're gonna squish the air all the way here and then you're gonna make a marriage twist but look what i'm holding this part so then all the way the air don't go too fast this way and this is a way to make a marriage piece. same idea but the other side so look when you are closer you're gonna grab it and start twisting and this you're gonna see oh it's still but still on the there it's okay don't worry you keep twisting remember this piece of balloon you have left over you're gonna try to tie there all that Tied it, pass it a couple of times there inside. Then, with this new, new string, it's going to be now your connection. You pull everything there and it's going to stay there. If you want, you can grab this part or pass it around, or you can save what is here so it can be what represents the feather. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut what is left over. <laughs> my scissors here okay you can then puff air tie it and save this for the feather and the rest you're gonna tie it or whatever it is here Wait. you will find another piece of balloon there you tie it so you have things like this now you can always accommodate the pinch twist you can make it better but 
like modern, you know, that's a cool part. You have this. Look, how cute. Now, we have kind of like 30% of the design probably. <laughs> Let's keep going. And this is um, what I'm thinking. Let's start having gloves too. So we're gonna grab our balloon 260 because you can use 160. That's what I did for this time. Because I, I work, when I'm practicing, I work with scraps. So I have a scrap 160, I'll just do it for a glove, and then this is a 260. But if you're gonna do this and you want to go and find what is a practical, most of us have 260 balloon. So let's go with the 260 black, white. And May, we're gonna make the gloves. So wish this balloon is inflated like eight finger tail approximately. And this is what you can do. Two finger bubble, another two finger bubble, and then, one finger bubble pinch twist, another one finger bubble pinch twist, and one more one finger bubble pinch twist. So it's three pinch twists. You have this. Two finger bubble, two finger bubble, twist it. Pinch twist, pinch twist, pinch twist. So three pinch twists. Cut. Tight. I'm going to use this one more time. Pull and pass this around. You need to tie them. No, because there's going to be another balloon going through there. So at the same time, you have this one glove. Ta -da! Now, let's just repeat. Second glove, the finger bubble, the finger bubble, twist it together. Lock. One finger bubble, pinch twist. One finger bubble, pinch twist. And another one finger bubble, pinch twist. Just repeating. You now secure. Up with the rest, let's see because it's experimenting. Let's see if we have enough for the one more part. So I'm just gonna lose here because you will need just to this. Save it and this part again, pull, pass it around. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, now we have this. To do gloves, these gloves can be used for many different designs that have gloves, characters like Minions, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, okay? Keep that in mind. Okay, then what else? We have this. So with this, the idea is you make a pink, a bubble, like two finger bubble, pinch twist, then measure three finger bubble, and then finish with a two finger bubble, pinch twist. If you have leftover, you can cut and wrap it around, but this is what you need to make. Two finger bubble, pinch twist, three finger bubble, two finger bubble, pinch twist. But let's wait, just you know you have the idea. Let's wait until we have the rest, the rest of you know the body. Now, remember we have left over this. Let's attach it to one of the gloves and pass this flash 260 around. Then you're gonna measure three finger double, no more, and then you're gonna cut, leaving some tip. So you're gonna kind of like leave the same as we did for the legs, approximately two, a little bit longer than two. If you think this is too hard, leave more teeth. You can make a marriage twist. For me, this is good enough. Now repeat. Next job, attach the rest of the 260, measure approximately three finger long, and cut, leaving a tip. Save always your scratch. You never know. And you may use it for, to make some of the racing beans if you don't have it already made. So you have arms. And those arms are going to be connected with a 260 yellow that is going to be part of the shirt, right? So this 260 yellow is inflated, eight, nine finger tail approximately. And you're going to make, again, the same thing we did for the, the, the pants, you know? So the legs, well. Marriage twist. Let's do this. The same idea. You put your finger in between. You push almost all the way your finger. And then you grab. You take it out. You play with the shape how you want it to be looking. And push some air from here so then it's looking good. Three finger approximately. That's good enough. Twist. When you twist this part, then you twist up. Twist long. Three. And you're gonna measure here, okay, two finger bubble, pinch twist. Okay, we have this. Now from here, we can make sure three finger bubble, okay? Approximately three or four finger bubble, you know? 
That's it. Then you're going to make your finger bubble pinch twist, twist. And this is what I'm thinking. And you tell me if you like it. So instead of make this guy too chunky, let's make it this way. So from here, you're going to measure approximately three or four finger long, the same as this part, approximately. I think it doesn't have to be perfect. Just trying to do your best. Then you're going to leave, leave a long tip. Now, um, to do this, you're going to cut. You leave, leave a long tip. You don't get rid of this, save it, because we're going to still use more yellow to 60. So now you're going to lose the air, but you're going to tie it close to the lasso. Okay. Now you have this, or close to this, the end. The same idea. Push the air all the way up. And let's make a marriage twist again. The same thing we did for the legs, okay? Grab it like this. Push. Look how I'm using my fingers so then the air doesn't go all the way too fast. Oh, do the way you think it's going to work better for you. Then you grab it. You measure. You like it. Twist. And then, remember our yellow scrap that we still have? You can keep using it. Or you just find a, any color it's going to be hiding. Or, ta-da, remember this piece? Why not? Grab it. The 260. Do the same idea. Imagine it's a balloon strap. Tie it. And then you're going to go and pass it to the pinch twist. And we're going to make, now remember, to finger bubble. Pinch twist. Then it's going to go all the way to the other side. So that's the finger bubble pinch twist. And look, I don't have enough. It's okay. You just keep it as a bubble. It's okay. Things doesn't have to be perfect. We just do in our breasts. And this is also making sure it's what we think, so this is how I'm going to keep it. Look, so awesome. We have arms, we have legs. Now we need what is in between. So that's, that's when we have this piece, and I think this piece is going to be for the center. So for um, the back, for the sides, let's use black already. So what we need to do is go up and down, Squeeze the air and then go up and down. Easy? Let's try. This balloon to 60 black is inflated like eight or nine finger tail. You're gonna touch them to these two big twists. And unless you measure now like no more than four finger of bubble for the black, no more than four. Now you go to the red. Now from here. If you want, you still have this, and you can make a pinch twist in each side from here with yellow to make it look better, I guess, or it's okay. You don't have to, you can just make it with this block, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna see how it looks. Things doesn't have to be perfect, just trying to do your best. You know, it's, um, it's just an option, but why to complicate more? Like, ideas to kind of like also find easy ways, but they, they look good. So now I'm there, pinch twist. Now I can go up again, four finger bubble approximately. Make sure things go up. Now from here, now we are back here. We're gonna squish the air, squish, squish. Look what I'm doing, squishing. Squishing the air and pass it from one side to the other two pinch twists. Don't, don't pull it too much. Just a little bit stretch and go to the other side. So a little bit tight, but not too tight. And now you're gonna measure again, four finger long down and four finger long up. Well, but in between, you're gonna make a pinch twist, okay? So if you want, you're gonna pass it through here, why not? So to lock that connections there, then you are making the pinch twist are in the back. The black pinch twists are gonna be in the back, okay? So let's make finger bubble, pinch twist, and then we're going back. We're passing the back. Now, ta -da! cut. We don't need this anymore. That's just in case selling because we're gonna need an, a new entire 260 black. Or 160 black if you have, but 260 black. Let's keep it simple. Don't complicate with much 160. The only 160s you're gonna need 
probably is gonna be for the nose and the ears. Let's see. So now there's a little confusion here. I want this to be the front, but look at the shoe. So you can always twist things the way you want it. And those are flexible, don't forget that, don't feel too straight. It's not working. Just play with some twisting. You have this. You want the pinch twist, the black to be in the back. So you just put it in the back. Okay. And the same with the other side. Sometimes when you twist, it's like really confused. So I'm just going to put in things the way I think it's going to be easy for you to understand this. Here, this side. Look at that. And we still have this left over. And that's what this is going to be in the center. And we have a balloon string passing from here all the way to the other side. And the same here. That's going to help to connect this in the middle. So you can just measure it's approximately four finger long so you just measure four finger long you know yeah. you, can make it. Well, you can do this four finger long cut you can save it as a balloon strap but we're going to need another balloon to 64 the hat we have four finger long bubble we're just going to connect it there in the center you can always by pressure just leave it like that but because why not? I'm gonna give it a feed and you want this to last longer, you just pass it through oh to this part. It's gonna be like, and then pass it through that little uh thing um the string. So that's what I'm doing. I'm passing to the, around the string, so just to lock things. But with pressure you don't have to do it too. Um you know, and then the same here, you see the string? So you're gonna pass it in between and it can be also locked there, you know, to have that the to be more locked. But it's all up to you to pull and that's the connection for the head okay we have this cute body one more detail for this cute body the bow tie you can draw it you can put a sticker but if you have a walloon one six it's going to be much easier you, you need you don't need all this but then the rest can be to help you go around the hat or if you have a 260 even better for around the hat but let's do this for the bow tie you inflate it doesn't matter how much hair because you're not going to use it all you just measure like probably no more than three finger long actually two better make a loop like a one finger loop twist another one finger loop twist very easy very simple and in the center you're going to make a finger bubble pinch twist so it's a bow tie in case you wonder how you make a bow tie and then or a bow right and then you make sure the same the finger bubble now we have this and you cut and that's it this is the cool part you can save this to make a string around the hat of this guy you can always cut this little excess that's what i'm doing with my cutter that is right here okay we have this now how to attach this and it's with not glue this is string can also be a one that if you pass it around to the other side to that black string and then go back again here you can attach this piece also part of the hat is going to be attaching that piece so let's see what i can make here so you can just you grab this you pass it down through that line the black 260 pull and pass this around you don't need to make it too tight and just pass it around and look and look at this oh adorable super awesome now you may think Cecilia now how I'm gonna to touch the head we still have the string the black string 260 that we squished the air is there so we can use it again to pass now the balloon five inch round blush pass it around and it's gonna be locked too so that's the cool part okay so don't worry you have this body it's done woohoo now let's go with the head ready open your mind be patient don't think it's impossible it's possible you just need to uh, keep trying if you think your balloon is popping when we're doing this technique that means you maybe need a better quality balloon or cut your nails <laughs> I don't know so we're gonna grab this is a five inch round deco mix so the colors may be different because then it's a I think petalex or qualitex for the 160 you can inflate it to make sure um it doesn't have any hole that's a good idea okay seems like it's fine it's perfect okay now you take the air out and now you're gonna grab racing beans this there's many different ways i prefer the ones that i made out of with the balloon scraps so you're gonna have four of those 
that you can also make with all the balloon scrap we are having from the body you can make those things how i'm gonna show you quickly pull tie release this chunky part you can do it one more time in the same place it's gonna be a little bit more chunkier even one more time if you want and you're gonna have something like this that little thing is the raising bean that what i call so you cut it that x stick and you just keep this so you can save or start pre-mating those things and i already have here me like four so you're going to put it inside one two three and four yep now you have four we made it before with only one racing bean now it's four like wow it's cool we can do this we're gonna blow now this balloon again soft gentle inflate it all the way but then loose here yeah, you don't want that much air something that fits in the palm of your, of your hand a little bit a little bit bigger okay then we're gonna tie it no close to the nasal but no also that you know leave some space here okay now you're gonna look at your design and because you, if you are just starting or if it's not also it's a good idea go all the way to the up and that's going to be where the head up the hair and the hat is going to be connected so you just make a little dot with a sharpie then i'm looking at my design this is how i'm looking at the design i'm gonna see hmm, the nose the nose you don't want it to be all the way in the center a little bit a little bit down from the center a little bit down so okay that's that's what i think a little bit down it's not like all of it a little bit down. <laughs> then from there you're gonna measure mm, ear one side then the other uh, the other side okay ears little little dots but it's there i don't want this to make it too big nose and the other ear and then that those connections are going to help me as a reference where I'm going to grab each racing bean. So I decide, and it's up to you, but I decide to attach first the nose. So I have my balloon, 160, inflated, eight or nine finger tail. I'm going to start for the nose. So you're going to grab the balloon, one of the racing beans. It's right there. Where is my dot? The racing bean. I'm going to grab it twist and a couple of times grab your balloon pull this part of the 160 pass it around and tie it then you're going to measure approximately four finger long now you can also make a little bubble before a little less than a finger and make it into a pinch twist or you can wait to do it later so that's gonna help the balance of the nose. You see? And it's keeping more stable. So I did that later, so let's do that later. Make the nose as long as you want. I'm gonna think four finger long. So leave some space of time. Tie this piece. Now this piece, when you tie it, don't make it too tight. Because now you have to see, hmm, look at the nose. If it is at the top, the nose is going down. You can play by twisting a couple of times. And now the nose is up. So you can always bend and play with that. But something faster is if you just grab, because it's soft and squishable, you can make a finger, one finger bubble, or a small bubble as you can, and make it to a pinch twist. And that is going to help you to keep things more stable. Okay, you can always even put things where you think is better, but I think that is what I want. Okay, you have that part to bottom. Now, from here, I'm gonna go to the ears, okay? Because this part on the top is easier. It's much easier, so I'm going with these parts. Here, I'm going to the dot, and we're kind of repeating the same idea we did for the nose but now for the rest. And when I have this, I make sure also I have already, already done, I forgot, two finger bubble, pinch twist, 
tie them and cut it. So I'm just, again, I forgot, and I already had the crazy bean, and I don't want to let it go, but you have to kind of have this thing ready. I'm just gonna, I don't want to let you out. Okay, let's go this way. You pass it around, you tie it, so it's the same way we did with the nose. You tie it, then you wanna make the finger bubble, pinch twist. You can make the ears bigger, yes, because it seems like Pinocchio has like, big ears. Uh, you cut, you leave in some teeth, that's gonna help you to reinforce that thing we did here. Then we pull, we pull, and we put one finger there, pass it around, and tie it. So things are more secure, just in case. And don't worry much, because also there's gonna be another balloon passing that is gonna be the black. Okay, so don't worry too much, and just um, you tied it, it's going to be another balloon and that balloon is going to also help to, the pinch twist of the black is going to help to push this here and you're not going to be able to see much that part mm -hmm. now let's keep going with the other one, this time I think it's easier if you make like this way oh, two finger bubble, pinch twist this is going to be the other ear cut, leave some teeth you still need balloon not really but so, you don't need this anymore. You just grab the other side, the other ear, and you're gonna grab it now. Uh -huh. Find the point, twist it, grab your balloon uh, ear with a little tip that you left when you make the pinch twist. Pull, pass it around, and look, I put one finger in between. One finger is this one. Pull, pass it around with the finger and then tie it. That's another way to secure things. And then you can tie it one more time with the other piece of balloon that you have here at the beginning. Uh, so you can tie it, you know, one time is going to be good enough because there's going to be another balloon going around that. Okay? So you have this. Now, the last connection. Yay, we can do this. And we grab it, we find the center, we pull, we, we still have this, but if you want to save time, you can always grab what is coming next for the hat, is a 260 inflating six or eight finger tail, and you can just pull, pass this around, and tie it. If you think, oh, see, that that's too complicated, you can grab a balloon scrap, and we have lots of balloon scrap, so you can and make a connection already. When you have this, you measure, Four finger bubble, another four finger bubble, twist it together. Another four finger bubble, and you can twist it around, and another four finger bubble to go down. So it's like a four finger bubble. Four bubbles of four finger bubble each. Twist it together, and then I prefer if you cut, leaving some teeth. Don't get rid of this yellow yet. Keep it. Make sure this part you tied it. And then you just pull and pass it in between and lock them down. That's gonna be good enough. Okay? Nothing. Okay, so we have this piece. Then we're going to. Oh, it's losing air. My goodness, it's losing air. Oh, the heaven. The heaven's like, ah. Oh. But it's okay. Let's do this before it's too late. I think it's losing air because that is, it looks too little. Yeah, it's losing air. So you're gonna destroy it. <laughs> like, and pass this around and I'm gonna tie it. Yeah, so I'm just fixing something there. Things are okay. Yeah, let's fix it. There you go. Now we have this piece 260 yellow, the leftover. We're gonna make two pinch twists, bam, bam, and then we're gonna stretch this. Squish and stretch them is not that thick. Okay? And we're gonna, these two pinch twists are gonna go here and it's gonna go around. But, but, before that, I think it's better if we attach the head. So for the head, 260 black, another 260 black, or a 160 black, whatever you think is better, I'm gonna use 260 black. And also, us have more 260s than 160s, right? So let's do this. Inflated eight finger, nine finger tail. Leave a tip. 
make it soft and squishable. You're gonna start from one ear. Bam, 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 bam. Then you're gonna make the thing about the thin twist. Twist those things to secure. Then you're gonna measure, squish and soft, wherever you have to go all the way up from the core of your head. That's gonna be hair. Okay, squeeze and soft. It doesn't have to be too tight. The idea is to make it too, too big though. Oh, I think it doesn't matter, but I like to squeeze and make it look like it's kind of like a 160, but it's a 260. You pass it around, then you make a two finger bubble, pinch twist, okay, and then you can pass this one more time just to a few things. And then you just going to squeeze and pass this to the other side. Look. So front, back, simple. This is a simple way. But if you wanna make more style for this Pinocchio, you can always go back to the front and make one side with more hair. That means one of the sides is gonna have another bubble going up from the front. And then the rest even can go, because we want one side to have more hair, it seems like it's the hair. But you're gonna also go back with the third line, the same place. This one's gonna have only one bubble, so such black. This one's gonna have three. They're very soft and squishable, okay? And you're gonna cut this soft and squishable that have some measurements there for the hair. And then you're just gonna end with going this way, okay? That way, this way, to the other ear. Straight. Now, you can use a nail, so then you don't want to make it too thick, unless you want to make it too thick. I just pass it around and tie it. And draw the balloon and tie this. Okay. Okay. So, as I told you, the pinch twists and the balloons are helping the bubbles of the ears. Now, this can also can be looking like Aladdin, don't you think? <laughs> but with a short nose. Aladdin. Ah, that's another idea. Now, this piece, now you're gonna already you squish, you stretch the 260 yellow and you're gonna pass it this way. Okay, and, and here. And have it. And then you just close it here. Also, having two pinch twists there is gonna kind of help you cover um, the empty spot. And this part, so it's, Pinocchio is not that cold, you can move it as up as you can. And those pinch twists can be help, helping too. Let it there now. You see the pinch twist in the back, kind of making some pressure. There. Now you're gonna cut. That's what I make also two pinch twist. Um, you're gonna make sure to tie this yellow and secure them so then it doesn't get a twist. Okay. And okay, and things are getting really good now. It is time to make eyes. And this is Sharpie time. Most of the design is already done, but if you have a 260, this is a 260, the same color of the bow tie, that is turquoise, but you can make it blue or any type of blue, light blue, dark blue, it's fine. But you can also do a 260, pack somewhere and pass it around, or with the leftover of the 160 you choose for the bow, you can also but it's going to be a little bit more skin so it's up to you what you prefer you can always inflate the balloon 160 left over from the bow tie that's what i'm going to do inflate it but then it's going to be too thick so i'll because it's inflated already it's going to be already expand the balloon right the balloon expands so then you lose the air and when you pass the air again it's going to be a little bit more thicker so this is you know, in case you want to save the balloon, so you see it's thicker. Now you're going to touch in the 160, this is a 160, and you're gonna touch it and you're going to need a little air around, touch it to the pinch twist, and then you're going to pass this around to the other pinch twist yellow, and then you have something like that. Now, it's like, oh, so serious, you pop, if you didn't pop enough air, you can hide up too much air to the back, and then you have this in the front. See? This can be in the back. For me, the back is not that important. 
Then remember we have a leftover of the red from the pants. If you have, use it, puff some air, tighten. You don't need much, it's just puffing. But uh, to tie here, this thing is gonna help to put it in between. And it's gonna just stay there in between. The pressure of things is gonna stay there. See, you can, you can have it like that. If you think it's silicone, no, it's too, it's too small. <laughs> Grab another balloon. <laughs> If you think it's too small, like in this case, it's a little bit bigger. Okay. And it's up to you to decide. Okay. Now, Sharpie time, easy. That's what I like. Just for this thing, took you forever, trying to use good Sharpies. And that means Sharpie is a good brand. So, if you have Sharpie, look, I finally have a Sharpie brand, black. Oh, it's another thing. And I'm gonna use it for use it for you guys. So from here you're gonna look, look what I'm making. Um, so from here the eyes are gonna grow. Because these parts have more bubbles, you're not gonna be able to see the eyebrow in this side. But in this side, you can make one eyebrow. And then you're just gonna make a black dot in each inside okay and then the smiley face look from one side close to the nose smiley face and then go then the tongue ping, ping. that's it simple now other colors yes blues any type of blue i like this sharpie blues like it looks like turquoise and i'm gonna put some around now be gentle because it will be so sad if they I don't pop right it will be so bad but we're going to try at least then red for the tongue this is not sharpie brand but it's not that bad so let's go let's go and for the top what I did was uh, use my blush color or peach color that Grandma B sent me. Thank you, Grandma B. And I'm gonna grab some of the black already and kind of it's gonna be the fumination. And that's gonna kind of look like dark, but with blush. You see some of the black? So I'm just playing with that idea. And there you go. And then, um, if you have white Sharpie, you just go and the, for the eyeballs and the parts that are not colored, you just color it. We're almost there, people. If you stand for the whole video, bravo for you. For Bissimo, thank you so much. <laughs> because now it's the moment to attach this cute Pinocchio head. And the thing is, it looks amazing. It looks awesome. It's now to attach it here. Remember, we have this part, and we're just gonna pass it all the way down, and we just pull. Look, with the pressure of that black screen, it's gonna look great. You just pull, and then you can you can go back. Look, this is a nozzle. You can go back, or you can then hide it. But I think that's good enough. This is a beautiful design. Please tell me in the comments what do you think. And if you like it, you think, wow, this is a super cute way to make Pinocchio, do it and share it with me. Follow me on Instagram, please. If you don't have Instagram, Instagram is great to share pictures, find other balloon artists. Facebook, don't find me, don't add me, don't request for a friendship on Facebook because my Facebook, I keep it for my business, for clients in my community. I live in Cheyenne, Wyoming, so I try to keep people from Cheyenne, Wyoming that hired me for events and they show me pictures there for them. If you're a balloon twister, you're learning things on this channel, follow me on Instagram, Alpaca Global Balloons. That's where you can send me a message. You can tag me on the pictures you made learning from this channel. I will totally appreciate that. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel because that helps a lot. And more than 50% of the people that is watching all my videos they are not subscribed yet, so you should. You should because this is like the balloon library. You can keep so many uh, here in this channel 
you know, techniques, videos all about balloons, and learn all the magic of balloon twisting. Have a wonderful day. Look how cute it looks. The side, the front, two ways. Now, the difference, I think I like this way that I made with you because having too much white, it makes this Pinocchio do it to each other. This is good, you know, Pinocchio do each other is cute, yes, but I prefer this part because you can always push this bubble more and look, the yellow, I'm just pushing more up and it's looking that way. I like it. You tell me which one do you prefer? If you know how to make this one, you will know how to make this one. Why? Because the black, instead of being black, like we did with the black 260 here for the two, for this part, we did it with yellow. And then just around, I add more black, squishing the air. So anyway, I think I like this one. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much again. And please tell me in your comments. I love your comments. Thank you all for the good vibes and see you in the next video. Ciao.